Today, we're diving into the unique offerings of two stunning areas of Vancouver Island, the Comox Valley and Nanaimo. Stay tuned to learn more. Hi, I'm Rita, and this is your go-to channel for all things Nanaimo and the surrounding areas. If you're new, hit that like button and subscribe for my weekly insights on island living. Today, I'll be exploring the differences between living in the Comox Valley and living in Nanaimo. And I do want to start off by saying that in no way is this intended to say one area is better than the other, but simply to highlight aspects that might make one location more desirable for your move to Vancouver Island. So the Comox Valley is a picturesque region of Vancouver Island, which encompasses three areas. Comox, Cumberland, and Courtney, and is about an hour's drive north of Nanaimo. It has a super warm community vibe with a population of about 75,000 people and a population density of about 44.4 people per square kilometer. In comparison, as of 2022, Nanaimo has a population density of 1,147 people per square kilometer and a population of just around 105,000 people. So keep in mind, this is for the city of Nanaimo proper and the Comox Valley includes three regions. So the Comox Valley offers a little bit more of an intimate setting than the hustle of the larger city of Nanaimo. So if you're looking for that tight knit feel, the Comox Valley might be calling your name. So now let's talk about amenities. So while the Comox Valley provides all the essentials, the larger population in Nanaimo provides a larger array of shopping, dining, and cultural experiences. However, don't count the Comox Valley out completely. It truly does have everything you need need, including a Costco and a lot of the big box stores that Nanaimo has, often with shorter travel times, which Nanaimo does have as well, so both areas are pretty similar in this respect. And although Nanaimo might have more things for you to do on a night out, the Comox Valley also has plenty of festivals and music events throughout the year, especially during the warmer summer months, such as the BC Seafood Festival and Vancouver Island Music Fest. Now on to the big question on everyone's minds, housing costs and how do these these two areas on Vancouver Island compare. In the Comox Valley, the median sale price for a three bedroom home hovers around $630,000. So it's an attractive option for those seeking affordability without sacrificing quality. Property taxes in 2023 in the city of Comox is 0.409651%. Now we can compare that to Nanaimo's median home price of $749,950 and a property tax rate of 0.600870%. So if we meet in the middle and consider a $700,000 house, that home in the Comox Valley will cost you $2,868 in property taxes, whereas in Nanaimo, that same home will cost you $4,206 in property taxes. And remember, Nanaimo is also ranked as the third highest property taxes in BC. So again, if your goal is affordability, the Comox Valley does win in this category. If you're in the rental market, the Comox Valley offers a variety of options with a vacancy rate of around 3% and the average cost for a one bedroom apartment is around $1,300. In Nanaimo, the rental vacancy rate is a little lower at about 2.2% with an average rental cost of $1,450 for a one bedroom unit. So again, the Comox Valley does beat Nanaimo out for affordability in the rental market. If you're an outdoor enthusiast like myself, you'll love both the Comox Valley and Nanaimo for the easy access it grants to stunning outdoor activities. I won't dive too deep into what Nanaimo has to offer as I've made plenty of videos on this topic, so you can just search my channel after you watch this one. But as for the Comox Valley, it has become quite the mecca for mountain bikers, particularly in Cumberland, which they now call the Squaw Amish of Vancouver Island, where many young active families are relocating to take advantage of the outdoor living here. Cumberland was actually ranked number one in the country for mountain biking, according to Osprey.com. Many of these mountain biking trails surround Puntledge River, and the Comox Valley also has proximity to Mount Washington for skiing. Also, do yourself a favor and check out the breathtaking Browns River Falls, which we had the privilege of visiting a few times this summer, where my dogs, especially Tika and Simon, 
Canyon had such a blast. Nanaimo has no shortage of mountain biking trails and is also home to Mount Benson, which I did feature in a recent video. So go check it out if you wanna see me hike this mountain. One reason I love living in Nanaimo is its central location, making it a great starting point to explore all of what the island has to offer. Which leads me to my next point, which is travel. As I mentioned, the Comox Valley is situated about an hour north of Nanaimo. It does have an airport with regional connections, very similar to Nanaimo's airport. And both locations have BC Ferry terminals, but the Comox terminal in Little River only offers service to Powell River on the Sunshine Coast, whereas Nanaimo has two BC Ferries terminals, Duke Point, which will take you into Tuasin, and Departure Bay, which will take you right into West Vancouver. Not to mention the new recent hot topic in Nanaimo, which is the launch of Hello Ferries, which will get you into downtown Vancouver in only 70 minutes. So I think if you compare the Comox Valley to Nanaimo, Nanaimo is simply a more convenient place to live for travel due to its central location and transportation options. Now on to weather. When it comes to cities on Vancouver Island, Nanaimo, Courtney, Cumberland, and Comox are very similar weather-wise. Both are located on the east coast of the island and experience moderate winters and summers. The coldest month is in December with average temperatures around two to six degrees Celsius. During this month, in terms of snow, the Comox Valley winds with a slightly higher snowfall than Nanaimo in terms of quantity. The Comox Valley on average will accumulate around 45 millimeters of snow compared to Nanaimo's 31 millimeters. Both areas are also very similar for wet days or days with precipitation of at least one millimeter of rain. And both regions experience an at least 55% chance of rain during the month of November. So if you're trying to pick based on weather, it's safe to say you'll be getting about the same climate in both areas. So which one is your dream destination? Comox Valley, which invites you into its warm, tight-knit community or larger Nanaimo with a broader range of amenities. Remember, this is just a snapshot of what both locations have to offer. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly with the information I provide in the description of this video. I'd love to have a conversation of what your dream location on Vancouver Island may be. One more time, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.